Hi, I'm Coach Cheyenne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am at Flamingo Lake Golf and Country Club. It is a public course and there are local people that live around here that are members, but guess what? It's budget friendly. It's a great 18 hole course and you get a golf cart included in the price. So let's get started. Let me tell you if they get five stars today on the Coach Cheyenne budget friendly series. And as you know, we judge them off of price, food and beverage, customer service, course condition, and pace of play. I have just finished nine holes, so let's get started. It's the time that we all have been waiting for, the review. So it does seem like it is um, an older community. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time to drive through as it is a pretty big gated community and it will take you at least five minutes to come to the golf course. So come early. As you can see by the signage, do not take your golf clubs in the pro shop. I would say the pro shop and the restaurant is a bit dated, but again, we don't really care because they hit our mark of $50 and under, so they get a star. If you come after 12 p.m., it actually drops by $5, so it's $45, including the golf cart for 18 holes, which is an excellent price, especially in South Florida. And you can see this golf course is actually quite beautiful. The back nine is nice and slow. Hardly anybody playing here today in the back nine, hence I can make this video. So one star for price. Customer service. I spoke to a gentleman on the phone today, extremely helpful. I asked a lot of details and he gave me tons and tons of his time. And then when I came in today, also very helpful. Brian was a gentleman who helped me, who's a pro here, had tons and tons of knowledge about the course and the area and was extremely very kind. So a second star for Flamingo Lakes right away. Price, genius, customer service, fantastic. Let's talk a little about course condition. These greens are actually really fast. I'm in Florida, in Pembroke Pines, South Florida, and they have not sanded or seeded these. So they're running very, very fast. And you know what? For the amount of golf that gets played here, there aren't that many divots or ball marks or just the greens are in great condition. So I give the course definitely a full star for its course condition. And please look at how beautiful it is as well. It is in a senior community. So make sure you come early as the drive in is quite long and don't get confused as there is tons of signage. A hot tip for you, the back nine actually is quite slow in the evenings. I started at 3 p.m. and it seems like the locals here only play nine, the residents, and then the back nine is pretty open. Hence, I am able to make this video on the back nine. So course condition, a big star. Pace of play, another big star. It took me a little less than two hours to play. Nobody was holding me up. The people in front of me that were in a threesome were telling me to go ahead. Um, so in terms of pace of play, it's absolutely on point. So they get another star right over there. I am now back at the pro shop. I didn't end up playing 18. I ended up playing 12 and coming back in. It's 6.15 in the evening. And guess what? The pro shop is shut because it shuts at 5 p.m. I didn't know, but I did go inside and they do have a sign that says that. So kudos to them. And then the restaurants also shut. I was also unaware of that, but their sign says Monday to Friday, they're open from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. because as I'd mentioned earlier, it's an older community that lives around here. So Gigi's Cafe is shut. It is open much, much later on Saturday and Sundays. So if you're coming on the weekend, you're all set for food and beverage. If you're coming during the week, and especially in the afternoon, make sure you bring your own snacks, your own hydration as you might be left out in the sun and it's Florida and it's extremely warm. So note to self on that. Unfortunately, I will have to give them half a star because it's only six o'clock and I am dehydrated and I would like a water or something. And there's just no access to going in there except for using the restrooms. And there is a person out here cleaning the golf carts, but they have no access to the pro shop as well. 
So all in all, four and a half stars. I wish I could give them a full star on food and beverage, but they need to hydrate and keep people alive out here. Thanks so much for watching. If you already haven't subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to see all the other budget-friendly videos, click right here and you will see the playlist of all the other ones that I've been to. Thank you so much for watching. If you live in Las Vegas and, or where's my next stop after Vegas? Atlanta, in the comments below, and Augusta, in the comments below, let me know your favorite budget-friendly course that I can go and check out on my travels. See you soon. Thanks for watching and supporting. Bye.